Hi guys and welcome to my channel. I hope you guys are having a fantastic bank holiday weekend. I'm doing a video after such a long time but that's just one of those things. This video is going to be about the books that I've read so far in 2016. I had set myself a challenge to read 25 books for this year and so far I've managed to read I think around about 10 or more books. I had said to myself I'm going to try and read different genres, different authors, join different book clubs so that I am challenged a little bit with the type of reading and it makes it more interesting as well started. The first book is um, a book called The Sun in Her Eyes. It's by a lady called Paige Toon. It's a really light summary read. It's about a woman who's living in London with her husband who had immigrated from Australia originally. She's made redundant and feeling super down and finds out that her father in Australia has had a huge stroke. She decides to fly out there to help him rehabilitate. It does mean that her marriage is going to be long distance. And she also gets reintroduced in Australia to an ex-flame. And the storyline sort of develops from there. And it's really good, it's really relatable. The emotions are so real. It's a family story as well as love and lust. And I really like some more of her books. The next book is by Deborah Rodriguez. And it's called The Little Coffee Shop of Kabul. Some of you might have seen this in bookshops actually. Um, it's about an American woman who's out in Kabul because of her boyfriend who's actually serving in the army they're trying to run a coffee shop in a war-torn country There's enough money to run it trying to keep it keep it as modern as possible trying to run a coffee shop when bombs are taking place so close by and it's also about other women that end up getting linked to her character and the coffee shop and they're all strong women and that's what i like it's to call home i absolutely love this called by carol matthews this book is about a lady who's actually in a marriage an arranged marriage for the last 15 years she's been suffering domestic abuse and mental abuse for many many years and she only decides to think about leaving her partner when the abuse starts reaching out to her daughter all of that abuse that she's been suffering has affected her daughter her daughter no longer speaks so she has made a big bold decision that nothing is going to change with this situation if nothing it's probably going to get worse and it's not going to be good for her daughter she decides to run away with her daughter to london so she has spent the last couple of years putting money aside so that she can do this move and get in touch with some refuge or some crisis group that can then help her once she's out there she does make that move and she ends up called refuge that is actually owned by an, a famous singer who's a millionaire and she ends up befriending him and getting to know the people that are living in that house and it's it's a beautiful book this is actually one of my favorite books it's to see how someone can take such courage and big steps as and end up happy wild by cheryl stride now you guys might remember this as a film that recently came out with Reese Witherspoon. This book came out a number of years ago and it was actually recommended by Oprah's book club. And it's about a young woman who loses her mother to cancer at a very young age. Um, and it's her trying to come to terms with losing her mother, losing her marriage, her job, her career, and losing her way because of her mother's death. A hike, you could even call it, of um, the West Coast and the struggles that she comes across during that time, the reflection that she has to do, the people she meets along the way. It's a true story. Do look it up. It's absolutely brilliant. It's a true story, so it's a page turner because this lady actually did what she did in this. This book is actually an Indian author. It's Twinkle Kanna and it's called Mrs. Funny Bones. So the Indian people that are watching my video will know that basically she's married to a gentleman called Akshay Kumar. And it's her take on being a mother, being a daughter, or being a wife of someone really famous. It's really funny. Each chapter is just her second guessing herself as a mother, finding her own mother infuriating, who was also an, a, a Bollywood actress. And just the things that she has to go through to stay in shape, all the things that we sort of think about she's just said out aloud in this book it's absolutely belly aching laughter the next book i read was the girl on the train it's by paula hawkins um not bad a little bit of a slow starter i didn't quite like the main character however it's definitely worth a read it's about a lady that travels every day to work she has a drinking problem because she's recently come out of a relationship that hasn't worked and her part her ex-partner has gone on to get into a new relationship and has had a child so all the things that she wants is so she's really really depressed and while she's on this journey she witnesses some a murder stroke missing person kind of thing and she ends up getting herself involved in it the storyline based around about 
about six characters. It picks up halfway through. It's a little slow in the beginning. I find her a little self-destructive and not much of a likable character. Comes a bit stronger and I think I definitely like strong women. Buy it. Is a Chris Jenner book, which is actually her autobiography. Now, before everyone sits there and says, yeah, right, this is not a very good read. Actually, it really is. She's actually quite inspirational, business orientated and could inspire a lot of women. She's a great mother as well as a businesswoman and that's what I like about her story. And she came from a really sort of humble background. Her mother had a shop in Calabasas and her father did a normal job and she was the only child. And she actually was an air steward before she met Rob Kardashian. About her story, her journey, what sets her apart from other women and her traits that she's got of strong family values and that's what I love about this. It's Linwood Barclay, the author's Linwood Barclay and the book is actually called No Safe House and I absolutely love his books. He's a crime thriller writer. This particular book is about a couple and they have a teenage daughter who's actually dating someone that's uh, a good for nothing and basically likes joyriding and stealing people's cars. And they end up doing this together and breaking into someone's house and witnessing something that they shouldn't have and end up getting involved in some crime of some sort. She leans on her parents to try and help her and it's that storyline. The only criticism I would have with this book is the plot is revealed pretty early on and it's a 500 page book. So if the characters aren't strong you're literally reading a book knowing what the plot is. Definitely worth a read. What goes last is by Margaret Atwood. This was actually something recommended by a book club. It is definitely not something that I would consider reading and I was a bit sort of on the fence with this book. It started off really good. I definitely enjoyed the first half but the second half dragged out and I really forced myself to finish it. So this book is basically about the East Coast having fallen apart because of um, a recession. People have lost their jobs they've lost their homes and it's become a lawless sort of area and the government start up a scheme which is a gated community and only certain people fit that criteria and this particular couple do and it's their struggles they lose their home they lose everything and they go into this gated community and it's not what it actually is and there's a lot more sinister things happening in the background but the theory behind the gated community is basically that you'll have um, somewhere safe to live and you'll have a job, you'll have a home, but at the same time you have to be able to put one stint in prison so that there are jobs and everything enough and they have about two, three hundred people there and they're trying to build these communities everywhere within the East Coast and it's about this couple and how the lady starts an affair with someone and how this escalates into something sinister that's actually going on which I won't give away the plot. Interesting and a different concept but I think it lost it half way through. It was good in the first half. So those are all my books that I've read. What have you guys been reading? Is there any recommendations that you can give me? Or have you read any of these books? I hope you've enjoyed this video. I certainly have enjoyed doing it. It's definitely challenged me because I'm not very good at explaining things. So do subscribe to my channel and I will try and put up videos a lot more regularly and like this video, show me some love and I hopefully I will see you all very soon. Bye.